My name is Dave Arabioff, and I'm a professional gold miner. I've been chasing gold since I was 11 years old, and I'm 59 years old now, so if you do the math, 48 years. What you're looking at here is an area we were mining. It was a very large quartz vein, about a foot thick, and we dug out the spot where we got a signal with the metal detector. And in this particular clip, I'm actually trying to determine the size of the piece of gold that we found. So I'll shut up and let you listen to the beeping sound. Now here is the first time I actually saw this piece of gold. It was in place in the rock. You can see that the gold is sticking out with the black coating on the gold crystal. And that's what it looked like in the ground. And then this is a piece of quartz when we fold it out. You can see the crack in the rock and that's where the gold was sitting. People have always asked me, does the gold look like that when you pull it out of the ground? And no, it doesn't. This is what it actually looks like. There's dirt, mud, manganese, and other contaminants that you would expect to find underground that are surrounding this piece of gold. And if you understand how gold is formed geologically, you'll get an idea of all of the different things that can be surrounding the gold when you find it. As I started to clean this piece and get the dirt and coating off of it, it started to really reveal its beauty. And here it is on display at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show in 2018. And that's when my really good friend Danny Trinchillo from Fine Minerals International saw it for the first time. And he asked if he could hold it. I said, certainly you can. And as soon as I put it in his hand, he knew that he had to have it. This is my favorite piece of gold I've ever found in my life. And I hope you learned something by watching this video to see that there is such a thing as crystallized gold.